What is going on guys? Papa C back from the video for you guys. Today I'm bringing you another Pokemon X and Y GBA type video. If you guys enjoy this stuff and want to see more, make sure you subscribe and leave a like. And let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more as well. Now, I made a video like this like two weeks ago, Pokemon X, Y, GBA. It was a different version. That version was a ROM hack of Fire Red. A couple of years ago, like three years ago, I uh, streamed a playthrough of this game. It was this exact ROM hack, I'm pretty sure, of X, Y, GBA. There's quite a few different ones, like I said. And for whatever reason, that video blew up. So this, I'm pretty sure, is the same ROM hack, just an updated version. So let's play this. Let's see what this is like. Let's compare it to X and Y. Let's compare it to the other ROM hacks that we've played. Now, like I said, in the original one that I played, which I'm pretty sure was this one, it was so weird. There was like a ha I'm just going to speed through this too. There was like a Haxorus that was really a beautiful. Like it looked like a Haxorus. It had the same timing as a Haxorus, but it had the same level up moveset as a beauty fly and the same cry as a beauty fly. It was the weirdest thing ever. Uh, so I don't know if this is going to be the same thing. So I'm a boy. And it looks like, okay, so the avatar is different. Okay, so that's good. This was an updated version. I think it was last updated in 2015, which is good. And, and when I originally played this, it was 2014. So that makes sense. So that is me. I am C. And let me see what we look like in the overworld now. Okay, so we changed our sprite. He looks more like the, uh, the fire red leaf green guy. Oh my god, this is all so different. Okay, she's standing in the wrong tile, but that's where we'll forgive you, mom. We'll, we'll forgive you for standing in the wrong tile. Now, I don't know if the map. Okay, let's just speed through this all tight thing. Because I don't know if the map is exactly the same. Like in the last ROM hack we played, the map was very, very slow. It had some just some minor aesthetic changes, like on the road and stuff. But this one looks pretty different. I wonder if. I, mean, I don't care about the time. Uh, I wonder if there's like different orientation to houses and what. I, I hope there is. It would be so cool if they literally just made X and Y, like the Kalos region in GBA. That would be amazing. Or in Emerald version, I should say. Because this is uh, technically Emerald version, I believe. So, okay. Uh, we are. Okay, so it's Vanaville Town. So it was renamed. There is. Gra it's not grass. Those are trees. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think. Little Root Town. Okay, I don't know why I'm like walking with a limp. This is definitely a little bit different. This is a little bit different. Got some Lapras in the water. This is really cool. This is really cool. Who are you? Look, we are feeding the Lapras. <laughs> Lapras is. That's such a weird. <laughs> Lapras is. It's like, I don't know why that sounds so weird to me. But um, the town definitely looks a little bit different. We got a palm tree here. What is this place? This is Birch's house. If I go up north, what do I see? So this is definitely different from the original Emerald version seen before. Oh, hey, I have a problem. I keep repeating everything I said. And you, see you later, see. See you later, see. Okay. So, uh, it's good to know that this game is still, you know, like, buggy as hell like it was before. Let's go into- Oh my god, it looked really weird. Let's go into the lab and see what we got, and nobody's here. Okay, so I'm guessing, just like original Emerald and Ruby and Sapphire, and Oras for that matter, we have to go into Professor Birch's house and go say hi to May. I wonder if May is really gonna be May, or if she's gonna be Serena. Hello, who are you? You are your C, uh, yada. There we go. There's Max in the background. Hey, Max. Alright, so are you May? No, you're not here. Oh, uh, there's a Pokeball here. Can I take it? And there's May. Seeing me steal her stuff. <laughs> huh? Who Who are you? <laughs> oh, you're see Where did you come from, May? I was just at the downstairs of your house. There's nowhere you could have been. Either way. This is May. Yeah, this is taking a really long time, this whole intro stuff. So I don't really care about that stuff. Let's just go downstairs. Let's get our Pokemon. Let's get our, our Kalo starter Pokemon. Hello. Um, Hi. There are scary Pokemon. Okay, I gotta change the text speed as well. Let me let me do that real quick. All right, so what do we have here? <laughs> Help me! So there's Professor Birch getting chased by a Zigzagoon. It looks like they changed this route as well. They got rid of some of the uh, the cliffs and the ledges. Okay, so let's see what our starters are. What are what are our options? We got Fennekin, Froakie, and Chespin. Let's take a look at them. Chespin looks great. Fennek, these sprites are awesome. Froakie looks a little weird. Uh, I'm trying to think. What did I pick last time I played? I think I picked uh, Froakie when I played through X and Y GBA before. I'll pick Fennekin this time. Either way. And we got a Skidoo. Okay. Go for Pound. Take you to Pound Town. Alright, that's a dead Skidoo. There we go. So we did that. I get to keep the Fennekin now, which is all. Alright, so now that we got that out of the way, we can head on up and see May in the grass up north. What do we have here? We have a Wild Inke. Okay. And it has a, does Inke normally have Intimidate? I actually don't know that. I know it gets Contra. I don't know what's other abilities. If it does get Contra and Intimidate, those are two great abilities to have. We got a Pikachu. I can't catch any of these yet, because I don't have Pokeballs yet. But uh, here we are in uh, what is normally Old DL Town. This is Lumio's Town. And there's just a Latias chilling. What? And I can just walk on this sign. Lumio's Town, the town of beauty. Can I walk? Why is there just a Latias teasing me? What is... 
Okay, okay. I swear to God, if this guy has the same dialogue about looking for a legendary Pokemon and there's one right behind him, she got a of a rare. Oh my God, dude! The Pokemon's right here. What are you? These houses look cool, though. I'm not gonna lie. Um, anyway, let's go see May. Let's see what she has. She's probably gonna have a, uh, a Froakie, of course. I can, okay, this route, they changed quite a bit. I can just walk straight up there. So, you see, I don't understand that. Why would they change the routes but not, like, the towns? Like, I can understand, like, you know, Lumio City, they can't make it as, uh, as massive as it is in, in original X and Y. But still, I don't know. But here's May. She's, she's still May. And she has a, okay, that Froakie looks like it's a little too high on the, uh, like, it's, like, literally floating. Let's just go for pounds. I don't have a, I don't have a potion, so I might lose this. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this. Yep, yeah, well... Is this still a GameCube? Actually, hold on. That's still a GameCube. Okay. Uh, so I'm guessing, do I have to beat May, or is it okay that I lost her? I don't really know. Let's go. Let's go try this again. I think uh, this house has seen uh, better days. The Pokemon Center as well looks pretty neat. Not gonna lie. Do the insides look the same? Actually, let's find out. The insides are exactly the same. Okay, just making sure. So, uh, yeah, and the house is fixed now. That's <laughs> yeah. I guess they work fast in uh, Lumio's town. Am I right? So let's go challenge May again. This time I have a potion. I talked to the dude that has uh, potions. That gives you potion, I should say. And hopefully we can beat her. Alright. So we got the uh, the floating Froakie of death here. Oh my god. Why is this Froakie so strong? I literally have to grind to beat this Froakie. What is going on? Okay, so I'm sitting here grinding. And I ran to this Meow Stick. I don't think I have to say anymore. Alright, so I finished grinding. I'm level 8 now. Hopefully May doesn't destroy me this time. Or Serena, whoever you're supposed to be. Alright, level 8. I still do, like, no damage. Come on! There we go. Down goes the Froakie. Okay, that, that, that was... Granted, I was a little bit overleveled. I probably should be, like, level 6. But still, we did it! So now I gotta go back to level. I don't know why my guy is, like, limping. Actually, let's look over here. What What is over here? Now, I've noticed the grass is a lot of weird Pokemon. We've got a Clauncher there. I don't know. Okay, so it looks like there's nothing over here. We could, uh, cut this tree if we had cut, though. Interesting. Let's get out of here. And there's so many freaking encounters. Jeez. All right, Inke, I don't have time for you. All right, so I got my running shoes. I got my Pokeballs and stuff. Let's go over here to Route 102. This looks so different. And let's catch our first Pokemon. We got a Hone Edge. That is an amazing first... Okay, are you a ghost type, actually, in this game? Or are you just steal? Let's just go for Pound. No, okay, yeah, you're still a ghost type. Just want to make sure. Uh, so I can't touch this thing. I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball. I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball. And I missed. Come on! Okay, I give up. This is not worth it. Not worth it. Not worth it. Hone Edge, cool Pokemon, but I'm not wasting all my balls. We got a Mien- Okay, that's random as hell. Why the heck is there a Mienfu here? What? I mean, I guess I'll catch it. Alright. Uh, no. Wrong backs. Uh, let's throw a Pokeball. No, what? Why are these so hard to catch? Jeez. Mianfu, what the heck, man? That's all my Pokeballs. Alright, so, uh, side note. Fennekin and Mianfu have their actual sprites. Although, Fennekin looks deformed as hell. Uh, interesting. So, let's go back and heal up, and then we'll continue on. Alright, so here we are in, uh, Petalburg City, and there's a Pokeball in front of the Pokemon Center. And we just randomly get a Max Revive. Okay. And there's sand in the, in the, uh, street. Okay. This is very... I, see, I don't understand this game at all. Like... Like, I get it's supposed to be, like, X and Y. Okay. Um, I just walk through walls. This is a Pokemon statue of Legend of Pokemon Latios in Lumios Town. And here, only the Chosen One can see this Pokemon. His name is N and... N? Oh, his... Okay, so there's two Pokemon. So it's N and Ash Ketchum. Or Ash... Wait, wait Ash Ketham. I press A by X and again. God damn it. See? Now, okay. Uh, okay, so I, I can walk through this wall. That's... Good to know. Can I walk through on this side? I can. <gasps> okay. I can just completely bypass this route, or this town, and go to straight to Route 104. That's good to know. What's in this grass, I guess? Let's, let's check this out. We got a neat arena. That's random as hell. See, this isn't, like, a randomized or anything, so I'm really confused by all these random Pokemon I find. Like, Riolu? Why? Why is there clauncher's in the grass, too? Got a Scatterbug? Okay, that's not that weird, I guess. I don't know. Very, can I walk through these walls, actually? Can I get that item? No, I can't. See, the funny thing is, I'm, I'm seeing if I can walk through walls. And, oh, I think I broke the game. Did I break the game? Okay, I thought maybe going to the town from the wrong side would break the game. Okay, I, I didn't break the game. So. <laughs> or maybe I did break the game. No, he's showing me around. I don't care. Alright, so, let's go to the gym. And, um, I'm pretty sure Wally's gonna come. We gotta show him how to catch a Pokemon. I wonder if he's going to still have a Rots. 
I'm not sure. He still gets his Ziggy gun, it looks like. But let's go, and let's see what you got. Is it still gonna be a route? It's- yeah, see, I don't think- oh, he has a Go-Goat, though. What? Or a Skidoo, okay. This- this works, I guess. Uh, so he's gonna catch it, of course. Uh, there we go. Great job. You know, the funny thing is, I'm pretty sure there's, like, a- there's, like, a way you can get that Ralts to be shiny, which is really funny. Like, can you imagine if Wally just catches a shiny Ralts while you're here with your freaking Fennekin, apparently? Alright, so let's make our way- okay, or not. I was gonna say let's make our way to Petalburg Woods as- Petalburg- Petalburg Woods as I get rudely interrupted by a Heliopile, which I'm definitely gonna catch. I can't catch no Pokeballs. I like how the Mart doesn't have, like, anything on it. It's just a blue building. That- that works. So here we are in Petalburg Woods. We got this weird tile here. Okay, trainer tips. This this weird like lily pad is giving me trainer tips. Good to know. All right, so I believe up ahead we got the uh, the team Aqua, or team Magma guy that's supposed to stop us here. We got Ryder, I think his name is. No one to be found. You see any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. That's cool. Okay, so it's team Aqua. They, they didn't change it to team Flare or whatever they're called in X and Y. Oh well, that would have been neat. Actually, let's see. When I battle him, do you change to a Team Flare guy? No, you're still Team Aqua. But you have a Pancham! Level 9. Alright. Fair enough. And now you're dead. Now, I also noticed that uh, Mianfu had an item, so I want to go check that out in a second here. Alright, so Mianfu... You have no ability. Okay. You have a raw spare. I'm going to leave that on you. And, um... Fennekin has Blaze. Okay. I don't know why Mianfu has no... Ability? I guess because Reckless and Regenerator didn't exist in 3rd gen? Maybe? I, I don't really know why. Alright, this Bucket just a Hone Edge. That makes perfect sense. He has two Hone Edges. Okay. That's 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 an that's interesting Bug Catcher. Uh, I just realized this too. I'm in a double battle here, right? Uh, so we got Fennekin. Let's go for Ember on the bottom. We got Mianfu, right? Mianfu knows Ember. I, I, I have no words. See, there's so many just... Small weird things about this game, like like over here. What? Okay, there's normally uh, a tree that you can cut right over here behind the scroll, you can, and you can't really access this. And there's an item over here. Why would you get rid of that and then just put nothing? I I don't get it. I I don't know. Very very strange. Let's go to Rustboro. Hopefully it's still called Rustboro. Is it still called Rustboro? This is no. This is uh Santa Loon, Santa Loon City. Okay. So I wonder if Roxanne will still be a rock type gym leader. Alright, so here we are in Roxanne's gym. This guy is sending in a completely different spot. Let's just avoid this guy, because I don't want to battle him. Let's avoid that guy. Okay, they changed this gym a lot. Unless it's always like this in Emerald, I don't remember, but I can avoid everybody. So let's do that, and let's probably get bodied by Roxanne. Uh, assuming she is a Rock-type gym leader, I will definitely get bodied, because I I just have, you know, a Fire-type and a Fighting-type that only knows a Fire move. So, yeah, and she got a Surskit. I don't- okay, is this normally a Buck-type gym in this game? An X and Y state? I don't really remember. Let's just go for, uh, Ember. He goes for Dig. What? I'll go focus energy here. Screw it. And Ember. Ha! No! Dig! Uh, uh. I, I, I gotta sack off. What's its face? Manfu, you gotta die. Or not. Just go for Ember. Okay, and now you die. Okay, let's go to Fennekin. Now let's go for Ember. He goes for Dig. I think I might lose this battle. Again. I. I have a potion. Okay. And I die. So I'm just uh, exploring around here, and there's, uh, you know, there's just a typical invisible wall right here for some reason. And, you know, normal, just just a little alley with nothing in it. You know, typical typical Pokemon XY GBA stuff. You know, I want to catch a fairy type Pokemon. I've noticed a few Deden. There's a Whismur, okay. But I haven't noticed a fairy type Pokemon I could catch. There's only trainers that have the Deden. And also, I kind of want, I don't think we'll make making this video because it might be too long. But I kind of want to make, oh, there's, a, I wanted a Healy Bile because this thing I feel like would be good for the gym. Um, I wanted to get to the point where you go to, it's like near Mallville, because I remember I was over there when I first went through this game, and there was like a cave that you just could not get out of, it was just, you walked in, there was no exit, so I want to see if that's fixed or not, we got a Healy Pile by the way, uh, let's take a look at you, make sure you are an Electric type, because if you're not, you're not going to be that useful, uh, so let's see, Electric, Normal, okay, you have Guts, that's cool, uh, and you have no Electric move, well, that's great. So, um, I'm just walking on the grass. By the way, that hacks I was mentioning earlier, I don't think it's in this game anymore. I think they just cooked it out. And we found a Fletching Day, and this sprite just looks crazy. I think I'm going to catch it. Actually, I'm not going to catch it. It's on level 6. I don't know. Okay, that's another weird thing. It's level 6. Uh, weird. I should evolve pretty soon as well, which is kind of neat. Alright, so Fennekin's level 16 after this battle. Are we going to evolve? 
Do we evolve? We evolve. Okay, so Fennekin's evolving to Brakeson. I can't remember if Brakeson... I'm just gonna speed through this as well. If Brakeson's supposed to be part Psychic, that sprite looks interesting. I can't remember if it's supposed to be part Psychic. I kind of hope it is. Once they're in Double Kick, that's an uh, interesting move to learn. I guess it's... uh, it's. I guess it still has Combuskin's moveset, actually, now that I think about it. Because it makes sense for Combuskin to learn, learn uh, Double Kick here. Not a, a Psychic-type Pokemon. So are you a Psychic-type? Let me see you. You are not a psychic type yet. Okay. I guess you gotta evolve into uh, Delphox for that. Alright, this time I am back at Roxanne. I have leveled up a bit. I have a few potions. Well, I think I have like six or seven potions. So hopefully we can beat this thing. Breaks and evolved and uh, has a weird back sprite. And I learned Flame Wheel, which is kind of nice. And that almost kills the. Uh... Never mind, you have potions. You have two potions. Okay, there we go. Surskid is dead. And you have a Vivalon, which, oh my god, that sprite looks really cool. But why does it not. Okay, its eyes are closed, which looks a bit weird. Uh, it kind of looks like its eyes are just black. I, d I don't know. Kind of creepy. Either way, let's just kill it. And uh, that's... There we go. We did it. Level 18. Leader Viola. Okay, so they changed her name. But they didn't change her sprite. And they didn't change May's name or May's sprite. I, I feel like May should have been Serena. That's just me. Either way, compared to the version that I played back in 2014, this one does seem better. It does have its issues. Like, obviously, some text flaws. You know, some some weird sprites and stuff. My, you know, my, my guy is limping. Uh, I don't know. Either way, I think... Oh, what's going on here? Oh, there's the Devon guy, whatever. Either way, though, I think it's going to be for today. Normally, with these videos, I kind of just go to the first gym and, and get a feel for the game. I don't really continue these. But that'll be for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more videos like this, leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys next time. Have a good rest of your day. And bye-bye.